welcome to the channel if you are a new subscriber you are warmly warmly welcome and to my OG's gang gang you are the real mvp guys i bet you most of you don't know the snack we are making some kakul today stay tuned let's go through the process together mm -hmm. Guys, so we put water on fire and added a little bit of salt. As it's boiled, we mix corn flour with water, like the way we prepare a wok pollen, the way we prepare the uh, porridge before adding the flour. That's exactly what we've done. Mix the corn flour with water and pour it into the hot water on fire. Then we allow it to boil. That's just it. Just like we are preparing our clay. So if this is our clay we are we are preparing, we'll just add the flour to it at this stage. Then our clay will be done in seconds. <laughs> so our porridge is done. So we'll just transfer it into another clean container. This is where we are coming to do all the mixing. We are coming to do everything that needed to be done about kaklo over here. Mm -hmm. just rinse your pores inside and add to it you don't want any wastage guys so what i'm holding is powdered tomatoes tomatoes was dried then grinded or blended to become powdered like this you are going to use it to prepare the kakulu <laughs> ah this is strange abi mm -hmm. Okay, so she added some yeast, baking powder, some flour, the flour we use to bake bread. You know, that's what she added uh, before adding this red thing. So the red thing is the powdered tomatoes as i said earlier that's what is going to make the kaklo look reddish this kaklo when you fry it the inside looks reddish this is what is going to make it look reddish guys trust me this is so delicious you don't want to miss this uh -huh. Guys, so after everything has been mixed, we'll go in with our corn flour again. Uh huh. This corn flour, she 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 milled the maize with some ginger, pepper, and um, pepper and those spices. She she milled the maize with it. It's just like the normal maize we used to prepare a wok pollen. We used to prepare a pollen. That's just it. That's what we are using for it. That's what is always used for this kaklo mm -hmm. so after adding it to it we are going to mix everything together it looks too hard so she add a little bit of water to make it a little soft so she's done with a spatula she's going in with with her clean hand to do the finished touches um, so this is always fried early in the morning so it is made down overnight so we have mixed this the following day morning we are going to fry it that's how it's always done you cover it the guys good morning this is the following day and this is how far our mixture has come we'll now add sugar you don't want to add sugar a day before because it will turn watery the sugar will make it watery that's why we add the sugar the following morning when we are about to fry it okay this is exactly how you want your consistency to look like just mix 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 so that the sugar will get well incorporated with everything here we have our oil on fire. 
then the calculus starts entering the oil so guys so i asked if it is palm kernel oil we are using and she said she used a uh, palm kernel oil with fry it off she used fry it to fry it but now the way it is expensive she mixed palm kernel oil with the fry it to fry it and we are good to go and so the calculator is made into a ball like this before drop into the oil i think in every calculator means like everything that is shaped into this ball ball if you can remember or you are a Ghanaian, you will know that we have something called agbeli kakulo we have another kakulo made with plantain that is called ablajo kakulo and this kakulo is called a bleak kakulo or jolly kakulo all is called kakulo because of their shape and you just add the name of the or the name of the ingredients you used to make the main ingredient you used to fry it you add the name to it so agbeli means cassava so the other one is called agbeli kakulo and plantain means ablajo so you say ablajo kakulo means means a bleed that's why this one is called a bleed kakulo or jolly kakulo a bleed kakulo the nickname is aka jolly kakulo i mean you get it uh-huh but i know most of you don't know this one but when you go to volta this is very very common and as as sweet as the rest of the kakulo personally i love all types of kakulo i am so fan of it. i love this one too so much very very delicious so one side is done it's time to flip over so she's just using this hair fork to flip it mm -hmm. you see how it has cracked guys you want your kakulo to crack like this 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 is the icing on the cake the crack kakulo so delicious it makes it so delicious the crack makes it crispy at the outside but very moist inside you want your kakulo to crack like this so <laughs> So at this point, our kakulo is well fried. So we are just taking it out of the oil. So crispy. Look how crispy it looks. that's how we are going to be shaping it dropping it in the oil the same process of frying till everything is finished everything is fried crisply nicely look at our beautiful mama Helping us with the kaklu. Um, we were discussing about a different snack also called atifufu. It is also almost this process made out of maize. We always 
we love maize and cassava so much that is our main food so this batch of kaplo is also crisply deliciously tastily beautifully fried okay so we are taking it out of the oil i know most of you know about the other two kaklos the one made with plantain and the other one with the cassava the agbeli kaklo and the ablajo kaklo already but you've not had encounter with a bleak kaklo aka jolly kaklo before it is as delicious as the others so when next time you make a trip to volta make sure you get this a bleak kaklo okay you will love it so this is how the kaklo looks like and this is how the inside looks like it's pepperish ginger is inside everything is inside some guys hope you love this video i will see you next in another video until then keep trying your recipes stay safe i love you all bye bye